Okay, so right here we have our two loops and let's um, create different type Yonina. Uh, they have four pedals. So what we're we going to do it is maybe find some with the open like right here. Okay, and let's you know start modifying. The first things we'll go to open and we'll search from six to four. So this will have it only four pedals now. Obviously, because we change, we need to modify a little bit of the shape as well. They're kind of interesting on the edge. Tips leave it look differently. So we'll do this one. Um, we'll leave it this as default, so the angle's about right. We'll go in a leaf, in a segment at this time. And they're actually a bit longer, so we'll put it three. We can always add just slightly variation of the link, so slightly different. Okay, that is about right. Um, we'll modify to 20. So they, again, you can go check online, but they're kind of interesting how they build. They have this nice curve going around. Okay, let's add maybe some variation to this. And um, Leave section correct. Everything will be very similar from what we have it. Just maybe you know, um, let's pop up our weed. It's a little bit more wider. And one thing right here on the bottom is where we need to rework. So we're going right here, and we'll bring bottom closer. The almost like overlay if you look on some okay and a little bit thinner closer to the beginning kind of yeah kind of like this okay now this ends we need a little bit reduce and we need to add them kind of nice touch. So we'll do increase. Yeah, they have a little bit bending. It's kind of effect on the end, you can see. Okay, let's click OK. Um, let's go to influence. We have a curl applied to this. Let's disable because we don't need it curl anymore. And you can see how they're going up. So this is about right. Okay, for this change there. Also, you know what till we do till I remember, let's go to um steams. We'll leave it six as well. But this one will need change to four on the bottom. Okay, next um let's change um, the main ones and here's will be a little bit more tricky because they kind of uh, open differently so we'll go four again okay we'll do um add more to this so we kind of bring them in very close on this angle and we'll kick them out after so we need to create it's more kind of bending on the bottom, it's what's happening with those guys. Okay, next let's go in the flower itself. Okay. We'll have a right link, everything look okay except right here, trapezium. So let's change this one. We actually want to apply more on the bottom and way less on the top. So we'll just go track this all the way down. Go to the bottom. And we'll take this one to the bottom as well. Okay, so right here you can see we have a very interesting already kind of effect. And some of our flowers we can uh, roll them more so they can go around, but you can see the petals look different, almost like roses kind of in effect. Okay, we have it um, 
we need rework a little bit on this Pack maybe 0 0.53 will work so let's try make them wider and we'll go to segments okay let's go on axis and little bit add point right here just slightly adjusting shape okay that is look good we need to pull now them a little bit more apart so we can go inside the influence enable basis we'll go to the curl This is a little bit too big curl, so let's modify what we want to influence. And we want to influence just the ends. So we'll bring it here. Bring this one to a zero as well. And bring this up. So our curl will apply only, you can see the ends kind of curling. Okay, let's click OK. So let's look a little bit on the bottom work, I still don't like it. So we can go maybe rework, um, let's go to 85. Yeah, that's one look better. As well, they maybe a little bit even more. So let's go to switch to maybe 92. Okay. There you go. That's look much better. Okay, and right these edges need a little bit pull up. So we'll go right here. Let's switch it. Bring a little bit more. Okay. This way. Okay, this interesting almost twist going. Just fixing the right here, this kind of angle. Okay, so I think this look about right. We can just reduce slightly. Make them flutter and right here need to fix it. So we'll bring in some cases a little bit harder when you have a few petals and you need to match them better. So this is become a little bit more tricky, but and that's look good. Um, one thing what I want to do now, I want to actually add a little bit more random to this. So we'll have it kind of angle. Okay, maybe, you know what, let's give it five and bring this now to 95 to all of them. So we'll bring closer. Okay, um, again, we'll now look on the old one and we'll need to change this to the four here and on the dead one four as well okay let's 
go to um, root now and just go over. Okay, I kind of don't like a little bit too big different than this, so let's look on a closer one. We'll just yeah, make them this way. Let's go to add kind of thinner here on top. Trying to cover these gaps. Okay, let's go look in front. Curl and maybe let's say two. So just so we have it curl two. Okay, let's do one, not minus one, so they curl out. Yeah, that's better and one okay so that one is kind of set i think we good here uh leaves actually a bit not that, that wide on this plant so we'll just go modify as well right here zero five so we'll have zero three and let's make variation zero point one okay and as well as a link Actually, it's longer link on this one, and we'll just add so we have it a little bit longer. Okay, I think that is work good. We'll go inside the Photoshop now, and so let's create a new coloring for this. And they kind of like purplish almost color. Like they think this was our base. We'll go add base. So this is our base color. Um, next, when you add add some white out, so we'll go select it. Again, increase size of the brush. Let's set maybe fifty, and we'll just start coloring around. color a little bit on the middle and one interesting thing is they have these straight strikes going so we'll go create new layer decrease size set to 90 opacity just go select these lines okay, we'll go to maybe you know what create wider from this angle okay we'll go to filter blur yeah, yeah. blur like this this is about all what they have we can apply soft light maybe to this little bit but I think the with normal even have a little bit nicer effect so we'll go to file save and we'll save flower. Okay, now we are ready to go back here and let's rework. So we'll go start with open materials. We'll edit this material. We'll go to open. Okay, and here's our flower. So we'll open this one. And let's name it uh, pink flower. click OK. You can see it's look a bit different. We can make different petals as well if you need it. But we'll do this way. Flower here. So we can go through all materials and switch as well. 
on a pink flower. Okay, we don't need to close it. On a dead one, we can do the same. Okay, and let's do the same things as before. We'll just desaturate it. Oh, everything is kind of still almost the same. So we'll go to the root. Let's run through different. Okay, so you can see we have a different let's go ahead and save this okay the next option what you need to do also you need to go to file export and export this as a view species in a new pre-release 3 you can do this so we can save it and go and open this inside the view okay so for example right here we're inside the view let's create terrain we'll go to switch maybe 10 meters by 10 meters and let's switch to 0.5 meter height okay we'll take our camera okay we'll take and let's you know what um, move a little bit closer so we can preview our terrain and our terrain will go open material ecosystem i don't want to create too complex so we'll just Go ahead and add a new plants. So I'm just going to import all of this red tulip we created and other ones. Okay, so right here we import it. Let's go to populate. One thing you notice scale may be off from the um okay, quite a bit big. So let's go to change scaling. Okay. I think my scaling still be meter kind of very large so I need to readjust we also can readjust slightly density okay let's click OK take main camera move it to the above and a little bit down so we can preview all this different we created okay we can go to just readjust slightly lighting okay we'll go to final render to screen so let's go ahead and render and see what we have it okay so right here we finish render and here is just a very fast render of the plants that we created with the uh, plant factory Thank you for watching this tutorials from Geeked Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web is www.geekedplay.com.